Does the term sex appeal have any direct relationship to a comedian's popularity? I don't know, really. Uh, I find that hard to, uh, to equate sex appeal. Of course, it depends, again, on what kind of material you, you do. I think, uh, an, not necessarily. You, you look at Durante. Now, it depends what you mean by sex appeal. That's a rather nebulous... Well, uh, I think it's fairly obvious that uh, the majority of the comedians who have lasted through the years... Jack Benny is an extremely good-looking man. Hope is a very, I think very that, again, true. becomes a likability and identification. Well, that's what I meant by sex appeal. I, I mean, uh, they always use the term sex appeal in terms of the straight actor, the Robert Taylor. No, I think you have to have both sexes like you, men and women, uh, which is a, it's a form of sex appeal. It's like when Sinatra sings. The men envy him, and the, and the women want to jump in the hay. Uh, you, there's a certain uh, amount of that, I think, yeah, and especially television probably gives you a closer identification with that than any other medium because you are right in the home, and it's a very intimate, personal type of identification. So I think there probably is a, a certain amount of that sexual transference. Mm. There seem to be many psychological reasons why someone becomes a comedian. Need for adulation, overcoming a feeling of insecurity, etc. Have you ever thought about your motivation for wanting to make people laugh? I suppose it goes back to the fact it's acceptance. Uh, everybody wants to be loved no matter what they do. If you're a shoe clerk, everybody wants to feel that somebody likes them. They're accepted. I think by the fact that you find that you can get laughs, whether you're in school, and this is where most guys start when they're growing up in their neighborhood, their friends, they're the ones who are jerking around, doing silly things, interrupting the classes. It's an attention-getting thing. And that, in effect, is like saying, hey, look at me, folks, I'm, I'm getting your acceptance. And I'm, I'm sure that that's part of it. To any performer, is it they like me you know I'm accepted so it is a form of love I think you're looking for from the audience I don't think that necessarily means or follows that all people who do comedy are hostile bitter unloved people striking back at society you know you get this sometimes that people say well they've had there are some comedians who fit that description but that does not necessarily follow that to be funny you have to follow that pattern it always has been kind of a of a standard comment on you know comedians are come out of impoverished backgrounds and they're fighting against society and so forth. Yes, there's some of them who have, but there's some of them who haven't. Bob Newhart's an extremely funny man. I don't think Bob came from the Lower East Side. Bob was an accountant in Chicago. So I think that is changing. A lot of the comedians did uh, years ago. But I think, again, now there's a new, new brand of comedy. Uh, you do have the Sauls. You have the Newharts. Uh, maybe the Carsons. I don't know. Who didn't have maybe the same background but nevertheless, it comes out the same. You have and are competing on the same level. That's right.